Ever wondered how a hand-sized combat weapon that can easily be stored in a backpack can target an area and prove to be a destructive warhead? If not, this is actually happening in the defense world and opponent nations are really fearful about this elevating threat because of the teeny weeny switchblade drone. Designed by AeroVironment, these small switchblade drones are widely used by the US military in different parts and the Americans are also sending kits of switchblade drones to help Ukrainians defend themselves from Russian naval forces. Widely known as kamikaze drones are highly devastating when they are operational and can be extremely efficient when compared to other drones available in the US and other nations. Let's take a deeper dive to know how these kamikaze drones are creating havoc for the opponents and which other drones the US is expecting in the coming years. When did these switchblades come into existence? Introduced and developed by the US Army, this switchblade drone came into existence in 2011. There are certainly two types of such tiny drones, namely Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600, which were ready to shoot up in 2015 and 2020 respectively. It's quite interesting to think why the US Army named these drones Switchblades. This is because the spring-loaded wings are originally folded up inside the drone and when it's time to release it amazingly flips out and releases it. The Switchblade which is inside the tube is released and it directly hits the target area and horribly crashes it. Now coming to the point, why have these come Kamikaze drones come into existence? Prior to these small drones, the US possessed human portable unmanned aerial vehicles like Raven and Puma which can spot threats but the loophole or the missing part here is those were outdated, one lacked the capability to carry weapons to attack the enemy. But these newly hyped backpackable drones were inexpensive and at the same time had sensors installed in them which helps them to spot the rival on the target area and significantly a fiery warhead that can attack the target area and destroy it awfully. These can be specially used to attack dug-in positions like rooftops or ridgelines. And now when it comes to helping the US troops, these switchblades were specially designed to help the US troops respond to the enemy existing in Afghanistan. These switchblades were the feasible option because close air support would take a longer time to arrive, was expensive to carry out for smaller missions and there was a risk of collateral damage, especially in the urban areas. Even the troops who were on duty for regular patrols carried FGM-148 Javelin which was also expensive. So with all these facts kept in mind, the US chose switchblade drones as the most prominent approach to attack Afghanistan or any other area in case any need arose. Because this is a small weapon that can easily fit in a Marine's Alice or Molly pack, it further locks and tracks a target once it is selected. The US Army was so impressed with these switchblades that in 2011, US Army awarded AeroVironment a massive $4.9 million contract for rapid fielding to shoot Afghanistan. This was the first one. The army added another $6 million worth of orders for these switchblades. They were dramatically a game changer for the US Army and the US Smutty Pans classified them as fire munitions and not as drones. And the most valuable part of these switchblade drones is they can wave off or even abort a mission if there is any change in a plan after it's already launched. After aborting a mission, they can engage in secondary targets or rather will destroy themselves so that there were no casualties or property damage. And this mission has been waved off and tested dozens of times to prevent civilian casualties. In total, until last year, the US Army received an order worth of $26.1 million, which is insane. So the US Army has designed two specifications in these awesome switchblades named Switchblade 300 and Switchblade 600. Before diving deeper to know everything about the US's dreadful tiny drones, make sure you subscribe to our channel to know more about incredible drones and defense equipment that will revolutionize the defense system. Number 1. Switchblade 300 a tiny Switchblade 300 is designed as 2 feet in height and only weighing 2.7 kilograms, which also includes the case and the launcher. It is so amazingly designed to make it easy for a soldier to carry one. It also has an expandable UAV that can elevate precision firepower for platoon-sized infantry units. A small-sized Switchblade 300 has an endurance of up to 10 minutes and can be easily controlled within 10 kilometers. Hence, this tiny drone is unsuitable for scouting roles. However, it can be used for long-range targets and assisting the relieving units. This backpackable drone is installed with a color camera and GPS locating which identifies, tracks and engages with the correct targets. Interestingly, it can be pre-programmed during a collision course and the best part about this Switchblade 300 is that it has an explosive warhead that is equivalent to a 40mm grenade which can destroy lightweight armed vessels or even human opponents. 
It has a teeny weeny electric engine in it and it can rush at a range of 85 knots which makes it difficult to detect or try to intercept the targets. And yes, once the missile is launched, it can be waved off and the target can be reassigned. However, it cannot be recovered once it is launched. Number 2. Switchblade 600 The other one which is a slightly updated version of the Switchblade 300 is the Switchblade 600. Under the Army Single Multi-Mission Attack Missile Development Program, this Switchblade 600 was developed. Heavier but with increased efficiency is this newly constructed Switchblade 600 a couple of years before. It weighs around 23 kilograms, however, the man portable is the same as its ancestor which can be set at 10 minutes after it is launched. However, when it's in the air, it can fly for around 40 kilometers in just 20 mere minutes. This means it has an incredible dash speed of 115 miles per hour, much more than what Switchblade 300 had. The warhead of Switchblade 600 is based on the Javelin 80GM, which can neutralize armored vehicles. The best and the most advanced part about this Switchblade is, through the pocket digital data link, the Switchblade 600 can fly in the air for a total of about 90 kilometers in case the expansion is needed. All these technical aspects of the missile can be controlled through the touchscreen tablet-based fire control system. This system can be controlled manually or autonomously and there is no need to worry as the Switchblade is secured with selective availability anti-spoofing module GPS. Apart from these two, there was a third version, Blackwing, which is much similar to the Switchblade 300 version and was first ever demonstrated in 2015. This drone was specifically built up for speedy ISR, rapid command and control operations. The dominant aspect of this Blackwing is they can be deployed from submerged to submarines, undersea manned or even unmanned vessels. The US supplying switchblades to Ukraine While the tensions between Ukraine and Russia are worsening, the American Navy is taking advantage of this situation because Russia does not own such a drone. Some of the Ukrainian's navy are under training on how to operate the tiny but deadliest switchblade drones. These are for single use but have dreadful effects on the targeted areas. A very small group of people are under training for switchblades and also for other dreadful weaponry. The defense official exclaimed to the reporter, We took advantage of the opportunity to pull them aside for a couple of days and provide them some training, particularly on the switchblades UAV. Though the US stepped back as military advisors to Ukraine so as to avoid an elevated probability of engaging with Russia in a direct war, the situation would be more worsened if the US had not withdrawn its position. But NATO and the US naval forces are making sure that all the weaponry provisions are made for the Ukraine naval force in case the situations get worse. Some powerful weapons owned by the US like Javelin anti-tank missiles and portable Stinger surface-to-air missiles are given to Ukrainians so as to target Russian aircraft. Not only owned by the US but some weaponries owned by the NATO nations are even given to Ukraine. From all those weapons handed over to the Ukraine Navy, one relatively easy to use combat weapon is the Switchblade and it'll be highly effective in attacking Russian ground forces. The United States has planned to send 100 switchblades, 300 systems and other 10 kits of the advanced switchblades 600 system. The kit of the switchblade has two main components, namely controlling tablets and 10 drones. This means Ukraine will now have 1000 switchblade 300 drones and 100 switchblade 600 drones which are quite sufficient. However, if needed, the US naval force has assured Ukraine to provide more of these dreadful tiny drones. So what are your thoughts on these small switchblade drones designed by the US? Will it help Ukrainians to fight against the Russian naval force? Do let us know your views in the comments below. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.